Hello, how are you? My name is Yu Chen. I sell books at Print and Matter on Saturdays and Sundays. And I've been teaching bookbinding workshop at Print and Matter St. Mark's um, every once a month. Because of the closure, my coworker asked if I want to do um, online programming as many institutions are trying to initiate at this point. Um, to be honest, I had some hesitation in the beginning as it seemed to me a rather strange idea to stay positive and keep on moving forward when there's clearly a great tragedy happening to our kind, to so many people and families. And I wondered for us who's more fortunate if there's any mental space for such activities. Um, but I observed in myself after the initial shock, um, anger and anxiety, I do still enjoy music, art, um, literature, if not more so. I think we are plural form of being, that is we contain multiple feelings at the same time. Um, there's very little I can do to help, but I do know a bit of bookmaking. And if anyone finds this useful or enjoyable to any extent, then it is truly my great pleasure to serve. Um, besides, in the past, our workshop were only available to those who live in New York, but through this um, platform, we can make it available to more. So, sorry for rambling, but those are the reasons why we're having this workshop. We're going to make a book today. We're gonna start with very simple bookmaking, a book made of one sheet of paper. So, all you need is one sheet of paper with or without content. I have some drawings printed on it and uh, accidentally an email on the back. And you need a ruler or anything that has a straight edge and a knife and a bone folder. Um, I don't have my bone folder with me and you probably don't have a bone folder either. So today we're gonna use a spoon. If you don't know what's a bone folder, it looks like this. And uh, it's a great tool to have. So to start, we're gonna fold this paper in half. So I will just make sure it's lined up on the edge and I will press down with my bone folder the fold. And we will open it up and fold the opposite side, the opposite direction. So make sure it's lined up on the edge and press down with my bone folder to make the fold tidy. And then without opening it, we're gonna fold halfway. So I find it really awkward to fold things towards me. So I'm gonna turn it, but you don't have to. I'll just make sure it's lined up on the edge and fold down again with my Bone folder firmly, and we will fold the other side too, like this. Okay. So, after the folding, your paper will look like this. Now, we're going to make a cut with my ruler and my knife. Um, use a use a cutting board if you care about your table. Okay. I'm cutting from the first folded line to the third. 
cut here okay after the cut I'm going to fold it down push it in and close it And then use your bone folder to fold down all the fold to make it neat. If you're making a larger addition, you can um, press them down with heavy books or so for overnight. So that's our first book. Um, some people call this hidden book because as you see my email, now it's partially hidden if you have content printed or written on the back side it will be hidden when it's standing um, i really like this type of bookmaking as it instantly turns a two-dimensional plane into multiple two-dimensional planes uh, at the same time a three-dimensional space uh, I've seen a Kiki Smith print that's a large um, uh, etching, I believe, of a curved body and she folded and cut as such so on each page all you can see is abstract, contour, and texture but only if you open up the whole print you will see the body in its entirety um, so I really appreciate how this type of bookmaking allows your content to be seen in two different ways. Um, another example I can show you is a book I made six years ago for a show that I had with many friends. So we collected everyone's drawing, everyone's draft for their installation at the show printed on one side and uh, we printed the text on the other like this um, I remember I made 50 copies of this it's really easy to do if you have a printer at home and can do double-sided printing if you are um, trying to design your own content in this structure you can first make a blank dummy and write on this um, cover and uh, one, two, three, four, five, six back cover and then open it up and design your content accordingly so uh, either in InDesign or Photoshop, you first start a page and divide it into eight sections and place your content in each section according to this guide. Otherwise, it will be quite difficult to do the reverse in your brain. Uh, good to have a dummy first. Okay. Um, that's what I want to show you today. Hope you like it and Maybe use it in the future. Maybe I'll see you again. Take care.